Okay, first I'm just going to loosen up the soil by hand here. Then I'm just going to cover the beans up with about an inch of loose soil. And we'll keep them moist and they should germinate in about a week or two. Here they are on May 10th, just coming up. I need to thin them out a little bit. It's May 26th and we're just now starting to get some good growth on these so they should take off soon. It's June 3rd and we finally have a climber. So it won't be long, these things will be moving right on up the trellis. It's June the 11th and we have one that's already about five feet up the trellis already. And there's some others not too far behind. It's June 19th and it's been really hot here so this is been kind of a rough stretch. Here's a good look at some blooms on this one. Got kind of a neat blue and lavender color to them. A little different than the beans I'm used to. And if you look closely, we got some nice clusters of blooms getting ready to open on a bunch of these vines, so this should be loaded with beans soon. It's June 23rd and we have our first bean started. There are some little ones started here and there. And the longest ones have topped out over the top of the trellis and it's about seven feet tall. So it's doing pretty good so far. I'm going to be harvesting a few beans today. We're getting some pretty long ones. It's uh, July 2nd. There's some nice ones on the back there. I just wanted to show you uh, that these pretty much produce beans in pairs. You'll have a two blooms form like that and then They'll just keep growing a little bit, and then once the bloom starts to fall off, let me see if I can find one. Well, that one looks like it's got three blooms, but only two beans, and then the beans will just keep growing and growing. Oh, there's one with three. Cool. That's my first uh, set of three. But they grow really fast. And uh, it looks like it's going to be a real prolific producer. Looks like we let some of these beans go a little bit too long. Tommy's got a whole handful there. We're going to cook them up. They go from just right to too big really fast, so you can really keep your eye on them. And there's one of the ones we let go too long. It's about more than halfway up Tanya's leg. Some of these are too big to eat, I think, but live and learn.